Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah, today the 10th of April 1997, you are tuned into Radio Islam Medium Wave 1548, your, host, your favorite learning station. Your host for today, inshallah, is Yahya Isha, and alhamdulillah, this is our very first broadcast. I hope you enjoy and learn from it, inshallah. Jazakallah. يا عابد الحرمين لو أبصرتنا لعلمت أنك بالعبادة تلعب Radio Islam was born in 1997 from humble beginnings and registered as a Section 21 company. It soon became a symbol of some of the freedoms and rights that all South Africans would be able to experience. The Freedom of the Airwaves conference held in 1991 was a seminal moment for radio broadcasting. When the government opened the airwaves for communities to apply for radio licenses, Radio Islam saw this as a golden opportunity whereby we could have a radio license, a radio station of our own, a Muslim radio station. We could empower our community. We could celebrate our achievements, tell our stories, and also broadcast the principles of Ubuntu which is peace and unity for all South Africans. And I must say to you that that had been a milestone. And then coming with the release of uh, you know, President Mandela, I think it just opened up the whole world. Broadcasting from a three-bedroom house donated by a benefactor, Radio Islam positioned itself to become a leading voice within the community of Lanasia and surrounding areas. Radio Islam is based on fairness, justice, transparency, accountability, and brotherhood for all. That is the message we propagate to all South Africans. We are also guided on the beautiful teachings of the noble Quran and the sayings of the Prophet peace be upon him. Radio Islam broadcasts on 1548 medium wave in Gauteng. Over the years it has grown and kept up with the times and now also broadcasts via satellite on the DSTV bouquet and globally through audio streaming on the internet. We have listeners in most Muslim countries, in the UK, in the US, in Canada, in Australia. They interact with us, they talk to us about their issues. Many South Africans who are living abroad find Radio Islam to be their link with what's happening back at home. Through a blend of diverse programming, produced and presented by experienced and recognized producers and presenters, Radio Islam has been able to disseminate and encourage a fair outlook on international politics, local news and issues that affect the continent of Africa. The programming has something for everyone, from local and international news. Does your radio station sound like yesterday's news? Current affairs. We wish no harm to anyone. We are Zimbabweans, we are Africans. So, Blair, keep your England and let me keep my Zimbabwe. Educational content. It is programmed. I love the bottom of my <laughs> So hold on to your seats. <laughs> Hobbyist programs covering health and business issues. I'm chatting to you from my bedroom, which overlooks my garden. And as I've mentioned to all the listeners before, I have a beautiful garden. The wonderful thing about this rain we've had is that everything smells so fresh and suddenly it looks like it has new vigor and growth. And as I'm sure we will all agree that we so need this rain to our land. As well as the Quran and other religious information. The key to our success has been upholding moral values, the strength of the family as a unit, the importance of equality and education for all. I think community radio station sums it all up. It's a radio by the community for the community. Radio Islam in many ways acts as a key educator in an ever-developing and dynamic world where perspectives need to be spiritually guided. It also plays a role in shaping attitudes, one of the most successful campaigns on the station looked at the often negative portrayal of youth and found innovative ways of changing perceptions positively. We asked elders to write stories about youth who have achieved and who have excelled in the hope that it would acknowledge them but at the same time it would motivate others and it would also send a very strong message 
that we cannot only look at the youth from a negative lens, a negative prism. We have to start looking at what they are doing and seeing how we can improve on that and enhance on that. Radio Islam strives to enlighten and broaden perspectives on a number of issues that concern the community. The SOS Hijab campaign was an inspirational journal-based approach to honor Muslim women who embrace the hijab. Hijab is one of those stereotypes that Muslims globally are still struggling with. This campaign was to get women to write as to why they decided to don the hijab, how it was their own individual choice, it was not imposed upon them, and the benefits they saw in it and the positive impact it had on their lifestyle. And once again, it was met with resounding success from our listeners. Women play a vital role in the station's programming and the daily communication with its listeners. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's one o'clock. Almost every program that we do, we have an uh, open line where we get our listeners to call in and uh, share with us their experiences, ask us questions, and we always have experts uh, with us that can answer their questions. PhDs to Macaroons was a well-received program aimed at empowering women, which is high on the agenda at Radio Islam. Education plays a very important role in our lives and Islam encourages women to educate themselves. We obviously educate our women first, uh, our homes, our children first, and then we go on and educate the society out there and ultimately the world. Radio Islam's dedication towards excellence and authenticity has garnered for the station a number of prestigious awards over the years. And I think since inception we've tried to do better than what we have done in previous years. We've gone from best governance, that was awarded to Radio Islam by the NCRF, and then we've gone on to a number of, of, of big awards at, uh, the, at, the MTR, at the MTN, and amongst that has been Community Radio Station of the Year. We've also had the business community who appreciates what Radio Islam has done, and that comes in from PMR, and we've, for the last three or four years, we've walked away with the Diamond Award, and that's safe. That says a story on its own, you know, a lot of achievement, but that goes with all the hard work and dedication of the entire team at Radio Islam. Radio Islam takes social empowerment seriously and values the role it has played in developing and nurturing partnerships with schools, madaris and learning institutes throughout Southern Africa and abroad. A particularly rewarding initiative was a free 10-day radio broadcasting course, giving aspiring presenters and producers an opportunity to get a foot into the broadcast environment. Our efforts in social upliftment have gone beyond daily programming. Outreach has become part and parcel of Radio Islam. We've worked at a number of projects in which we've been able to generate the support and the enthusiasm from the community to give back to these outreach projects. Operation Brightside collected spectacles for people who needed them and projects like Operation Winter Warmth provided clothing and warmers for children in underprivileged areas. Larger community projects have been undertaken like the co-founding of the Islamic Helpline providing counselling services for women and children. To date I think our most successful project has been the establishment of an ambulance service for the Greater Johannesburg area. And Currently we have four ambulances running and uh, it is open to everyone who wants to use the service. Uh, it goes under the, the name of Rescue 786. Funding through advertising is the key to running a successful radio station. The business community supports Radio Islam and this is borne out by the fact that monthly slots are booked out regularly. So we cannot forget those advertisers who have supported the radio station continuously from the day we started. Those who have supported us at different periods in our 17 years of existence, their reward rests with the Almighty, and we would now encourage them that this is only the beginning. With its maxim, the world is our community, award-winning Lanasia-based Radio Islam International has consistently endeavored to provide accurate and well-researched information that educates, informs, and inspires listeners globally. Its dynamic media team continues to remain loyal to the station's primary objectives, the spiritual upliftment of humankind and the availability of Islam to all. We want to have an impact on humanity. Humanity is thirsty for solutions and we feel we can be the conduit through which 
they would understand what are the solutions to the problems of not only Muslims but humanity at large. So hold on to your seats. Radio Islam News, the information station. 